drivers. Start your engines. Welcome to the first race of the Forza 2021 season. I'm Princess Celestia, and I'm with my sister, Princess Luna. That's right, sister, and today we're here at Barcelona for a race with Team Caliber Sports. And we're focusing on Sofia Alexander, the leader of the team. And we're off and racing, and Sofia gets a great start. Everyone at home followed the Forza 2020 finals. I did make an announcement that I'll be commentating at Watkins Glen. Unfortunately, the track is currently closed for maintenance, so today we're racing here at Barcelona. For a rookie, Sofia is doing pretty good on capitalizing the first lap. Indeed she is sister for those who are new to the Forza scene. Sofia Alexandra is a Greek fighter who joined the racing series in the 2019 season. She also contributed to the team on being the first rookie team to make it to the Forza 2020 finals. Really comes to show that rookies do have potential to make it to championship level events. Indeed sister as Sofia Alexandra capitalizes her first lap. Sister, have you fought against Sofia in the Soul Calibur series? As a matter of fact, yes I did, and I must say, she's one talented fighter. If she can fight, she can race. And so far, she's doing a really good job. But we're not here to talk about her fighting abilities, we're focusing more on her racing. And so far, she's doing a really good job. Indeed, Sister, as Sofia goes through the last turns, And here we go into lap 2. The current leaders are Sofia Alexandra, Emma and Victor Rodriguez. So sister, what do you think of Team Caliber Sports as a whole? I must say, they're a great team with great potential. What's really impressive is that they were able to make it to the Forza Finals on their first season in a league. Even though that they didn't win the championship. It's really impressive on how they were able to achieve that potential in only one season. Indeed, sister, it was a great season for Team Caliber Sports. Unfortunately, they didn't win the championship, but it was a great one. We also want to bring a special guest for a quick interview, and that is Equestria Motorsports driver number 35, Starlight Glimmer. Thank you for inviting me for this short interview. This track is amazing. So, Starlight? We've seen you perform pretty well at Hockenheim a few days ago. How did it go for you as a driver? Hockenheim is a great track. I just had a little issue during practice as some guy spun me out. Quite unfortunate for you on practice, but you did really well on the race. Indeed, I had a great race. Didn't make it to first place, but it's all good. I'm sure that you'll have more chances during the regular season. Hopefully. I've always wanted to contribute to this championship team. Well, it's nice to have a little chat with you, Starlight. We hope to see you during the regular season. Anyways, back to the race with Sofia. So far, she's still leading the race as she enters her third lap. Sofia isn't the only driver representing Team Caliber Sports. Her teammates Techie, Amy, and others to race for the team. Sofia said in an interview that she wanted to see Equestria Motorsports again on the finals. Well, she's too excited for that. The finals don't happen till next summer. As she goes through turn 3, she's still leading the race. She ain't giving up her position without a fight.
quite interesting that she still drives that thing. Yet she did say that she hated that car. I heard that it's because that car has too much power. I mean it has a Dodge engine on a supercar made in Spain. But so far she's doing a good job keep it under control. Sophia is doing a great job as she now approaches turn 6 and 7. Here she comes into the back stretch once again. So I want to give you an update on Team Caliber Sports. The team has now acquired two drivers, both from the Soul Caliber series. And those two new drivers hope to see how racing is like. I'm sure they do have the potential in becoming this year's champion. Sophia now approaches the last few turns as she finishes her third lap. Sophia now crosses the line and here we go race fans. White flag is out. Her current leaders on this point in time are Sophia, Bill Moon, and the 2011 Forza Horizon champion, Darius Flint. As Sophia goes through turn four, we want to remind you that the next few races will stay here at Barcelona. This includes the next race of Team Caliber Sports. Then there's two races with the Shadowlands. And two more with Equestria Motorsports. So don't go anywhere, race fans. We're still staying at Barcelona. We do want to remind you that after Barcelona, the next track will be Watkins Glen, the first race I was supposed to commentate. Sophia is still leading the pack this entire race. What show she's giving to her? Coming up next, Team Caliber Sports will continue here at Barcelona with Tacky. Mark your calendars, race fans. You don't want to miss that. What a race with Sophia as she now enters the last few turns. Well, it was an easy race for Sophia and she the first one of the season for Team Caliber Sports. Well, it was a good race today. It's sad to say goodbye, but we still got another race here at Barcelona. I'm Princess Celestia, and I'm Princess Luna, and we'll see you all on the next race.